It's time to chat about the day's most interesting stories with Richard Southern. Barbecue season is here, and it's not just the grill that's heating up, Richard. There's a hot debate going on about a certain condiment. And I need your take. Okay. Uh, ketchup, Erica, ketchup, in the fridge or not? Should it be hot or cold? I've put it in the fridge, yeah. Is that not our right? Our I director, don't... Sean, is also in the fridge. And yeah. I guess I am, too. Most Canadians, though, say otherwise, hmm. Erica. They believe ketchup should be served at room temperature. But in an, a those nod those to those who like it cold, Heinz is coming out with this. It's called cold ketchup. It's uh, specially designed for those who like their ketchup cold. It's a, a new label, Heinz says, that turns blue when it's icy cold. Heinz did a survey, though, and they found that uh, nearly half, just under half of Canadians say they eat it uh, cold. One in five, though, argue that ketchup must be consumed at room temperature. I think it does taste better at room temperature, but I would worry about the bottle, you know, gaining some bacteria growth. Same, same. That's why I put it in the fridge. But of course, marketing, you got to market it as cold ketchup. You could just put your ketchup in the fridge, I think, right? I'm just glad we tackle the big issues like this at 640, <laughs> you know? That's what we do best, always, the big issues. Always, always. Okay, let's move on to a couple of unusual records, starting with a man who definitely doesn't need to put cold ketchup on his food. <laughs> you like spicy stuff, right, Eric? I think you could a challenge this record. A little bit of spice? I'm into it, yeah. Sure. I don't know if you're California, uh, you're, uh, what do they call them? Uh, uh, California Reaper uh, spicy. These, this is uh, a guy in California. He ate uh, the world's uh, hottest peppers. Oh my gosh. Um, Three of them, Erica, Oof. and they're called Carolina Reapers, excuse me. He ate three Carolina Reapers in 8.7 seconds. The Carolina Reaper is the spiciest pepper in the world. 1.6 million oh Scoville units each. The average, <laughs> look at him go. The yeah. average um, jalapeno is just 3,500. So it's like eating thousands of jalapenos. Oh my goodness. His stomach is probably not happy with him. No, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to see the aftermath. Meantime, a meantime, a man uh, got a new Guinness record for the most squares tattooed on his body. He already held this at 848, but he has since added another 30 more squares. That's something to shoot for. Erica has some ink. I'm, I'm not there yet. I'm thinking about getting some ink. I don't know what, what I should get. Specifically squares, though. I don't know. Uh, well, for you, I think it's obvious, right? You gotta get. What? You gotta get a UFO. Like, oh wow! Well, so, you know, now that now that you bring it up, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, tell Richard what tattoo should he get? Yeah, tweet okay. me, tweet, tweet me. Him. Yeah, it finally it appears that Facebook is transforming some families from friends to foes. Yeah, I especially now with the election on Thursday, this is kind of top of mind. A new study that shows millennials, uh, you and I, Erica, mm -hmm. we like to um, block friends and family when they bring up politics. New survey found 78% of millennials admit to blocking a family member on Facebook for political postings. Uh, when you ask all age groups, it's 46% of people that admit to doing that. 41% of everyone uh, surveyed said their relatives were blocked because they post too much political content specifically. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a different story when it comes to Instagram. A lot of people say they block for friends and family on Instagram so they can't see what content they're posting. You don't, you don't want to see mom and dad or your uncle uh, seeing all your 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 racy photos you're posting here but <laughs> i think it's just you know this is it you know politics you sometimes you just it's it's you get it's too much and you just have to block someone it right? is too much you got to do it for your own mental health too you can also just mute people you don't have to block them and, or unfollow them so there you go richard don't block right me on either. i lost you erica uh, but thank okay. you have a good night <laughs> have a good night we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, there you are have a good night see you tomorrow <laughs>